What a glorious day for it. And the teams, the Olympic champions, the United States, and the wonderfully monikered Matildas of Australia. There's Kari Sites of the United States. She's in charge today. Away we go at the Home Depot Centre. On the overlap is the young left-back Stephanie Catley. She's only 17 years old, highly rated. What a good cross that is to the far post, Sarah Walsh. Costa Rica were vanquished by eight goals to nil in the first match of this fans' appreciation tour in Rochester, New York. A very young side they sent over, but Australia are building for the future. What skill by Devana. The back heel, which not, not makes Becky Sauerbrunn. Devana again, here's an opportunity. Gill, Walsh over the bar. What a chance that was. Colette McCallum is number 14, born in Glasgow. She curl it in with her left foot. There's an opportunity for Gill in front of goal. And she knows she should have done better. Emily Van Egmond wants to play for the Western New York Flash. She tries the drive. It's on target. The father, Gary, is the manager of the Newcastle Jets in the men's A-League in Australia. And that's a good long ball over the top. Here's Walsh on the left foot. Sarah Walsh, is this the opening goal? She's hit the post. Here's Cheney for the United States. Well, they've been worn two or three times now, and it's a good open game. Look at the strength of Alex Morgan. Alex Morgan clean through into the side netting. No one can make the saves that she makes. She's got deft hands. She's explosive athletically. And people hit the post all the time because she makes it so difficult to score. That's the only angle left. It's a great point. They've got to find the corners, haven't they? Oh, there's another one off the post. Then off solo. Here's Walsh. Square ball in. And Van Egmond can't contort her body to send a shot goalwards. Lauren Cheney into the feet of Abby Wambach. Turns away from Van Egmond. Now, Tobin Heath to Alex Morgan. Is this the opening goal? No, it's a yard or so wide. So close. Best piece of soccer so far this afternoon from the United States. Dara Walsh back on the field. Devana. What a turn. Now it's a foot race with Christy Rampone. Lisa Devana heading towards goal. Rampone behind her. Devana's in here. Oh! What a goal! That is absolutely magnificent from Lisa Devana. Podium and watch That's how quickly she pirouettes and gets off. The most impressive part is she's beating the fastest player on the U.S. with the ball at her feet. Look at the separation. The composure looks up, roosts it. Outstanding strike, but watch this turn. How quickly she gets turned. Christine Rampone comes up too close, but look at this, the separation with the ball at her feet. It is so difficult to be that fast with the ball at your feet. This is why they think at her best, she can be one of the world's best. The game came in 2004 when they qualified for the Athens Olympic Games. They drew 1-1 with the United States during that tournament. And they beat the host Greece. Here's Carly Lloyd, one defender to beat. Onto the right foot, Carly Lloyd, and it's saved by the young goalkeeper, Brianna Davy. Inside the final 90 seconds of the first half here. Rapino, edge of the area, that's good vision. Here's Chaining, long range shot, comes in, it's a good one. It was Alex Morgan, in fact, and it's another good save by Brianna Davy. Minimum of a minute stoppage time. Flick off from one back is a very good one. Alex Morgan is through. Chaining with the flick. Still Lauren Cheney. Oh, is this a goal? Is this the equaliser? A good block tackle on Alex Morgan. She's facing away from goal. And it goes to Tobin Heath. Back to Alex Morgan. Another block tackle. Desperate defending by the Matildas. But she actually comes from a very competitive family, a single mother. Her sister has a gold medal from, the, from Atlanta. Inside the penalty area, they go with Alex Morgan. There's the shot. And there's the equaliser. Emphatic from Alex Morgan on her 50th appearance for the United States and that's her 32nd international goal and a great ball there but watch this from Alex Morgan gets it back on that favorite left foot of hers how quickly she can get that two yard separation to open up a window watch this she's got it on her right foot chops it and she's right on it next step is a shot and she rifles that one nothing 
the goalkeeper can do about that. But this is why she's going to be one of the best players in the world, is in the tight spaces. All she needs is a little window. She's a great athlete, terrific skill, and Pia Sunhaga, who is a great goal scorer in her own right, loved that one. A stern halftime chat, I'm sure, from Pia Sundhaga, who took over in 2007 after that World Cup in China when the United States came third after a 4 0 semi final defeat to Brazil. Here's one back into the area. This is an opportunity. It was Lauren Cheney who'd inch forward from central midfield to spring the United States into another attack. Through ball towards Morgan. She's got the legs. Oh, she's brought down. It's a penalty to the United States. Brianna Davy, the goalkeeper, has clipped Alex Morgan. Kari Sykes, the referee, points to the spot. Shannon Box, right foot in, right in the corner. 24 international goals now. The go-ahead goal for the United States. They lead by two goals to one. Well, here's that ball. Look at the curl on the ball, and it actually, after it hits the surface, comes back into Alex Morgan. She takes that touch. Davy comes out, and she reads this early. She gets off that line a little early, gets there. But watch this ball. Too much power and too much placement. Heather Mitz, a three-time gold medalist as well. And he goes to Lauren Cheney. Opportunity here. Good-looking drive across the face of Brianna Davies' goal. Heath to box. Here's Heather Mitz. O'Reilly flicks the ball past the defender. Here comes the cross to Rodriguez with the header. Kari Sainz, the referee, looks at her watch. She was in charge of the Olympic quarter-final, the defeat for Sweden, which led to Pearson Hager getting the job. And it's all over. One match remaining of the Pearson Hager reign, and she's won 13 matches in a row. If she can win her final match, she would make it 14. That would be the most for the United States women's national team since 1997.